Today is the end of the Republic. The end of a regime that acquiesces to disorder. At this very moment, in a system far from here, the new Republic lies to the galaxy while secretly supporting the treachery of the loathsome resistance. All remaining systems will bow to the First Order and will remember this as the last day of the Republic! Welcome, welcome back, back adventurers. Uh, I'm taking a look at the Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct that released on Thursday. Unfortunately, on Thursday, I was pretty busy, so I didn't get a chance that day to uh, check it out, but it is Saturday now, so uh, let's take a look-see. I'm super excited about um, Animal Crossing. I think it's coming out on the 20th of March, so that's gonna be fun. It's less than a month away now. Getting super excited. It's something we're going to be playing on the uh, the Twitch channel. I'm not sure if we're going to have much, uh, many, many videos about it up on the YouTubes, but yeah, it's definitely something I want to, you know, get involved in and jump into and have some fun with. So if you're planning on playing it, let me know down in the comments and uh, maybe we could visit each other's towns and stuff. Oh, also quick shout out to a very, very good friend of mine, Dramakins. If you are after Animal Crossing content, she makes a bunch of it. She's absolutely lovely. I'll pop a link down to her content in the description, but she is completely tearing this all apart. So I've not watched her like reaction to this direct or anything yet. I've actually been waiting to watch it myself first, but definitely go check that out. I'll put that link down in the uh, uh, down in the description below. But without further ado, make sure you subbed because again, even though I said last time about 80% of my viewers are still not subbed because I keep forgetting to tell them. So hit that sub button, give this video a like if you end up liking it. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's take a look. Super excited. Okay. The graphical fidelity on this already is already so great. Hi, Tom. Greetings to everybody watching our Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct. Very glad to welcome you all to this informational session. You see, this year, on March 20th, our long-awaited desert deserted island getaway package. Oh my god, Tom, please. Tom, please, you talk too fast for me to read. Uh, begins departures. Okay. My company, Nook Inc., has prepared a special movie for the occasion, Deep Dive into Deserted Island Life. That's a mouthful. There's so much you want to share, we've had to divide it into three separate parts. Thank you, dokes. Part one is a refresher on our whole getaway package, a reminder of what we've shared so far. Part two will cover future development plans, and in part three, we'll answer some frequently asked questions. Future development plans? Is that DLC? Part one, yes, let's go. Thank you, Tom, you money hungry Thank you for choosing boss. the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. This is it one trip so that we though. here at Nook Inc. can recommend with confidence. Your <sighs> destination oh my God, is a peaceful of, like, wildlife island you see where at the same the time as well. The count. I'm still not sure on this crafting system. Like I don't even know this, neighbors. this new game has a crafting system. Designing your home. I'm not sure how I feel about that. And simply enjoying life. Oh, look at the sparkle on the water. Since we're Getting nearing departure, trap. it's high time we detail the many features and perks included in the getaway package. You can like play with up to eight people as well. I'm gonna go fishing with my friends. Okay, sorry, I'm getting a, I'm getting emotional. Stop. Okay. Upon oh, arrival at the local okay. airport, you'll be met with a deserted island positively teeming with nature's it's bounty. It's so cute. It's like a little diorama. I want that like a little model. That'd when be so cute. When applying for the getaway package. You can choose the island you wish to move to oh, from a wide range of options. That's awesome. Okay. Nice. Would you like to live in the northern hemisphere or the or southern, southern hemisphere? hemisphere? Does it change the way the game Don't works worry. with weather and stuff? No matter which you choose, you'll experience all that the four seasons have to offer right from your island. 
Wait, what? Oh, okay. Your departure so date is scheduled for March 20th. That's okay, when the cool. Northern Hemisphere will just be warming up for spring. You won't have oh, to wait so long for the cherry to how blossoms to be in full bloom. To what your side of the world is. That's so cool that I thought about that. So people in Australia actually get winter when it's winter now. brings its own share of delights. You'll see a wealth of lush greenery, not oh to God. mention a veritable treasure trove of bugs native to the island. Damn, the threads there. Come on, the color of the leaves on the trees will gradually change, and so too oh, will the activities available say, to yeah. you, from Straight collecting seeds and mushrooms cool. to gathering autumn leaves. So there are like time and in specific winter, pickups too. The island transforms into a chilly snowscape. The usual winter activities are a jolly good time. I'm getting like I'm getting constant chills, which is the appropriate since it's winter in the game. And you get your aurora borealis time as well. Year. Northern lights. As you can see, when the seasons change, the activities available to you change along with them. That's so the good. Which means you got content to do all year round. Oh my god! Island is such a great setting for you your new life. You can get baubles off trees. Not long after your arrival, you and your fellow residents will receive an orientation session from the Nook Inc. staff. Oh, these islanders look so cool! At this time, you'll be provided with a tent included in your getaway package. You that can chat disturbing. with other residents that, that about where you want to set up disturbing. your new home base. I want to put mine near the beach. And theirs. Or... Waterfall, if they're not sure or, where to move, please help them yet. find the perfect You can wait to decide where they are, well. where their stuff goes to. Oh, yo, Hopefully, that's awesome. You'll agree that cooperation between residents <laughs> can be them, pretty fun. Like put in their own encampment. That Although sounds you're horrible. Why did I say that? Island, you're still getting it's a package like, deal. On the island, like, we've get included rid of them two in facilities to make the your island. life there more great. comfortable. That would be like the holiday camp. Visit this tent Wait, in the no, plaza that sounds to like, access mm, residence services, which is like here Butlin, to support all of your daily like, needs. It's you know, open 24 hours a day, that period providing of time residents in the 40s, with services such as the shit. sale of everyday goods, the purchase of unwanted items, so you can get rid of uh, weeds and stuff. Wait, and you can sell weeds? advice about living on a deserted island. And by attending our free DIY workshops, you'll learn how to craft a variety of items. Okay. So the crafting worries me because I don't want to have to craft things because I'm lazy. First, just learn the DIY recipe. So do they have other options? Then choose what to make. Oh, I want, and I want there to see you some really messed up towns, it's ready. by the way, Chad. Like, I remember back in the day, like, you'd go and visit, as like, horror towns and stuff on, like, With enough recipes DS. and the right materials, you can build a plethora Hell of wonderful yeah. things, you can actually get, like, even on a deserted island. Gemstones and stuff you from rocks your instead of, uh, with your own hands. instead of it just being coins. That's awesome. Are you experienced with DIY crafting? Mm -hmm. Well then, stop by our customization workshop where you can learn skills like changing the color of your DIY That's furniture cool. or decorating them with your own custom designs. Oh. So the pixel art is still like kind of the same fidelity Making too. the tools and That's furniture too bad, you need actually. by kind of like hand is a vital the pixel art together now. deserted island. So it's not the same as it used to be. It's our wish oh, that's that really you good. these DIY skills by it's like those filters that you get on those like retro games. A pizza oven? Oh my god. Sorry, chat. Oh, sorry. I'm like freaking out Welcome here. Welcome to the airport, where you'll Wait, first land on the island. Based on, can you customize it's that? It's also available for that use year round, before. 24 hours a day, I'm gonna beginning make the day after your arrival. I gotta match my At the airport, chat. you can Come use on. the internet or <laughs> local <laughs> wireless to invite residents of other islands to yours. Internet, wait, 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 wait. Internet connection required online play. To use the online services, you must create an account. Yeah, great. Online play requires played online membership. Additional accessories, game system may be required for multiplayer. I mean, yeah, okay, that makes sense. And Tell me about multiplayer. To and visit other islands yourself. I don't mind my island be like a communal thing way, where people can family, help me out. Because that's you, what my stream's gonna be. On a given island at one time. Heck yeah. Feel free to get a good group together and make some I'm memories. Gonna, it's gonna get everybody else to make stuff. That, that's it. Good for more than Let's use my laziness and excuse. It also offers an in-game postal service, allowing you to send messages. Oh, that's super Feel cute. Free to use this service to interact with other residents. Oh. 
like the watercolors on that card and you can send them gifts and stuff. Yo, Will this that makes be sense. Your first time living somewhere so remote on a deserted island, no less. Don't worry. Here are three big ways we plan to support you in acquainting yourself with your new Tell me more. Special service. Okay. A new life. So in addition to your tent, Nook Inc. will provide some basic necessities as well as services. No I hate how worry. small that is. Like the first thing I'm going to be doing is like getting a bigger this, house. The true so I actually want to see what the houses look like too. Nook phone. It of course you get a phone. Apps, like a camera and map. But over time, we will provide new applications to support all your deserted island needs. At the start of each day, our CEO, Mr. Nook, will make an island-wide oh, broadcast to all residents. Oh, is this like the recap residents. stuff whenever you like the greeting, turn the game on? Latest on important island events. Yeah, just give you all the news and stuff. Advice, and more. <laughs> Sorry, my brain keeps going back to that thing I said earlier. This is likely your it's, first it's time on a horrible. deserted island. Um, We're offering guidance and inspiration. To me, Nook, Nook just Nook became some kind program. of. Great for when you're looking Never to mind. participate Doesn't in some activities. I'm just thinking of that scene from uh, Star Wars Force Awakens where uh, General Hux is just screaming into the microphone and that was Tom Nook for a second there for me. And as you have these experiences, you so you're on, uh, miles, miles. Like so. Right, little, I mean, this is a kind of like a little achievement system, so the that's kind of nice you too. Up can be used to pay off the cost of the getaway package, and they can eventually be exchanged for rewards at the Nook Stop. So is there no money in, in this services. one then, or is it just miles instead? From in-game Nook Inc. merchandise to help so buy not, items that can I'm not sure if I've seen money yet. Island. And you can buy new apps from that too. It's very cool. To get the most out of every day, try collecting miles using the Nook Mileage Program. Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about having Nook Inc. plastered Nook on Inc. everything. Nook Inc. is here for you, but remember, the island is very much deserted. Mm -hmm. And so, we'd like to take this opportunity to talk about some possible hitches you might encounter and their solutions. This is one nature-rich island. It's possible that you could encounter dangerous insects such as wasps or scorpions. Just catch them with if your you bird net. You may end up somewhat irritated. That's how I look 24 7, so it's fine. Should you come across one you don't think you can catch, try not to push your luck and consider retreat. Symptoms can be cured I mean, with medicine available at resident services. We know most of this, don't we? And I don't, there's nothing really new about this. But they're just, just like case. recapping stuff that people might not necessarily know. Nighttime on the island can get a little That's dark. so cute. You're on your own, and you never know what creatures might be lurking out there. Please be mm. careful when taking a long might... stroll. We'd have the to go for like a long adventure. So if you think about it, this is actually a plus. That's hella cute. Your deserted island is surrounded by the sea, which means you may come across a castaway from time to mm -hmm, time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Luckily, mm -hmm. rescue is simple. First, give them a holler to make sure they're doing okay. <laughs> then keep them company until they wake up. God, that's great. Please offer all the support you can. They're relying on you to make it home. They're giving away a lot of stuff here. Although your Nook phone has a map application, it's theoretically possible you could get lost or find yourself unable to move forward. Interesting. Can In you situations use like these, it's best not to panic. Instead, simply use the rescue service. Wait, You'll does that mean they're expecting people to get stuck? No time. Is that Rossetti? Hold on. Is Rossetti the operator of the uh given the services the we've service? introduced so far? I want to know what he does now, considering that you know you can't like, fake your but saves you want your or anything life to be on the Switch now. Comfortable, we will offer a number of optional extras. Is this DLC stuff? Does the environment seem a bit rough? Or not? Do you no. Need a okay. Just... More space for all your stuff. If you said yes to either of these questions, then we have an option for you. Building a house. Okay, so that's just no general deadline, stuff. No interest right. and no assessment. 
and there's no need to worry about cool. applying for one. It's really hard because they're all presenting this place. as like a getaway package thing. It's really hard to know when they're talking about actual like potential DLC a stuff. House offers so much more space than the tent you'll start with. I'm getting a house. It also has its own of course, I'm getting a house. Capable of holding any furniture and baggage you're not displaying. That way, everything's nice and tidy. Wait, you can put stuff in storage straight from the uh, menu as well? That's you great. No, that's a, that is a fantastic designer. quality of life Setting change. The walls and flooring, oh, like, however you like. Sorting out storage really is the, the worst thing ever. There. I really hope there's like an organizational We've system for storage now, rather than just stuff going into a cupboard. Time. As you can see here, that'd be so, so much better. Heavy lifting, freeing you up to focus on redecorating. Oh, this is this is smooth as well, yo. This organizational system is freaking smooth. If nice. You own a house, we can also offer you additional extension and remodeling services. Whatever your situation, very cool. We have okay, same as always. Available. Very cool. So please don't hesitate to ask I was hoping it wouldn't just be ten. Them. So yeah. Hmm. Your Nook Miles can be exchanged for in-game rewards, including Nook Miles tickets. What do they do? Used to travel to distant islands. The destination of these tours differs each time, and depends on how the That's pilot is feeling. That's kind of cute, like a day trip yeah, when you're on holiday, tours, so to speak. These far-off destinations are small oh, so islands. Oh, so I'm assuming that this is replacing like um, of captains, course, like take island many stuff back home with you, from the last game. DIY materials or creatures. So you you play like mini games nice and stuff there. So and you may experience this might have like encounters. rarer bugs and stuff and like new new residents too. These tours will prove to be one of our most popular. Oh, you services, can still get coins then. To many Interesting. Customers, why not give it a try? The idea that bugs can now chase you down and attack you, um, <laughs> and that's the thing you have to worry about in the game. With our package plan. It's very scary. I mean, island. scorpions could still sting you in the past, right? And bees could one still sting you too, but I can't remember them trying to like actually chase down the bees. It's called party play. With this way to play, you can call up other residents who live on the same island as you, allowing up to four hmm. residents to enjoy exploring the island together. Okay, so at that's the, the offline multiplayer. That's Whoever fine. Calls the others is the leader, making the others the followers. They can follow the leader around. That way, everyone There's can There's no split screen then. That's legitimately disappointing. As you can see, it's easy to change out the assigned leader. I'm that guessing way, it's because the game just cannot handle rendering turns, doing four different what they want to do, even instances if it's just of the island shopping. at once. That's legitimately disappointing. The thing about the Switch that I don't like, there's so many like limitations like this. Like even like sure the last Zelda game like didn't later. run at a like consistent frame rate. Like Link's Awakening it was super disappointing. We are it was such a fantastic a game as well. Within the Nintendo Switch online app for real-world smart devices, it's called Nook Link. As an example, the service lets you scan QR code patterns of custom I'm designs. If this will, like, with such a link tool, up with, you can use your um, smartphone's cam. camera function to scan the QR codes of custom designs created in the Animal Crossing New Leaf or Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer games. You can import your old designs. And then download them via Nook Link. Yo, that's legitimately pretty cool. You see that that like blends together that design online, too. You can talk with owners of Animal Crossing. The pixels Horizons, on it, I mean. And the Nintendo Switch online smartphone. That's app. kind of awesome, actually. Smartphone is a keyboard. God, like all my Zelda chat. stuff that I I made in my old games, I could bring that across. Nice. Nook Link is planned to launch in March of 2020. Soon after so my schedule not, departure, yeah, included in your with the, deserted uh, island game. getaway package. We hope it will enhance your experience. I'm guessing they'll take care of like launch first. Fix any issues with that and then do the uh, app rather than launching everything at the same time because being able to handle like all of that stuff at once would be difficult. Although I imagine there's different teams working on both of those, but. Alright, part two. Is this potential DLC stuff? 
Let's go. I'm actually kind of looking forward to the idea of DLCs and you'll stuff. Really get that deserted island or it might bug. not be Especially DLC with stuff, only actually. a couple of neighbors for company at the start. But no, this is isn't DLC stuff. Invite more residents and develop the island into a bustling community. I'm not sure why I want DLC stuff for this game, but... For this reason, we're planning Nintendo to invite getaway more package? animal residents to come live here. That said, we don't want you to feel like we're inviting others into your space. Or is that just the name of the character? As such, that they... we've That's secured there. this land in advance. And in some cases, you may be able to invite some so residents. So you have absolutely con absolute control over who comes but to your island. And people just don't we're show up. Yeah, that was just the name of the character. Facilities on the island. Very cool. Examples include a museum showcasing the rich ecosystem oh on the god. island. The museum looks so good. Oh my god, the fossils furniture and goods look so good too. Yourself. I didn't even think about that. A tailor I hope some of these uh, fashion these, items. these like items are a little bit more interactive than they have been in the past. Like you can actually interact and with them. Like that punch about it. If you could actually like do a little punchy purposes. animation, that'd be really cute. But I, I imagine they won't do that because that's a lot of like development for custom animations just for like one item residents lives so and foster a sophisticated culture on the island by gradually adding shops and facilities i'm very impressed with a little help from some I look at sonic our ceo <laughs> made in the past i know it wasn't it's one of the mables it's just, i know i just it's just funny the resident service center is only a simple tent now, but we plan to eventually expand this tent into a proper okay. building. So that becomes wait, where's Isabel? Expand our housing business. Where is my Isabel? I need Isabel. Nook Thank you very much. We can and will Give me. offer to expand or remodel your house while providing moving can you, services like, for your house. Customize other people's facilities. houses. And you can move stuff afterwards. You can also, move the shops and stuff. Yo, yes! Isabel, let's go! Hi, Isabel. For remodeling, we'll lean on staff oh, experience she's and in providing the shop too. operational support. That way, we can offer the utmost in services and advice regarding the overall environment of your island. <sighs> Look at that dumb haircut. <laughs> We're hoping to accept not only new oh. residents, oh, but also that hair is tight. who are tentatively Yo. paying a visit to the island. First that hairdo is really cute. Always welcome. In these cultural exchanges, we can show visitors what makes our island so That's special. That's really cool too. Could you invite them to come and stay when they come and like customs, we aren't look at your with. island? I hope so. Imagine being able to steal your We're friends' villages. That'd be pretty cool. Any traveling merchants who can offer up items that cannot be crafted on the island. Oh my god. Look at how good they look, though. Like the the little textures on their and faces and stuff. Now we will host a variety of they events. all look like they're made of felt or something. It's very journeys. cute. And bug offs at the plaza in front of residents. Did you just tell me to bug off? <laughs> Through free updates, that, that, we plan to introduce that particular villager. Well, not villager, that that and more. Uh, NPC was really cool looking. We hope you'll continue free updates, to enjoy great. our services. Oh my god, this looks We're so sure good. We'll agree that starting over on a deserted island is already an attractive proposition. But here at Nook Inc., we really want our residents to create a one of a kind island that they're proud to call their home. Can you make stairs you or is it just a ladder? And realize your oh, wait, you could just like climb We're cliffs able to now? Offer you a range of additional services. Super cool. These include okay. ways to help you and your fellow residents get from point okay, A so there is a money system. And By it's building expensive bridges and slopes to build be bridges. To Holy moly! On the island without relying on handmade tools. I I don't want to go for like an eclectic ladders. aesthetic. I want everything to be like the same. And so I'm gonna have to like upgrade once stuff. the island is fully decked out, we will provide you with a permit. <sighs> permit for what? Is it like the you uh, the mayor? Like pave your own oh god, was it called? Oh no, this is just that thing. Okay, cool. That looks pretty damn cool. In addition, cool, though. we can also provide you with a permit that allows you to My undergo village is gonna major end up construction so gosh darn the terrain itself. You can just alter the terrain. Yo! And cliffs. Who cares about what island you get? You can literally just redesign the whole thing. 
is so good. Sorry. Maintenance and construction permits. You can flex your creative muscle across the island. Make the most of them to make your island your dream home. Oh my god, that's too oh, that's too much choice. That's too much choice. That's gonna have to come As later. You've seen today, the deserted island getaway. They're just giving you absolute control over everything. Life, surrounded by nature, just as its name suggests. <sighs> or you can live okay. a comfortable life in a perfectly planned community. Oh the choice is yours. Display those fossils in public too, yo. What kind of life do you want to live? I am. I was like excited about this game, but now I'm incredibly excited about this game. Oh, this is going to be something that we play for a long time. Your departure is on track for March 20th of 2020. We're looking forward to meeting you all on the island. Oh, people are going to have so much fun with this too. Okay. Part three? Or is that it? Wait, did I miss where it said part three? <sighs> okay. <sighs> Sorry, the fact that people like care about this so much makes me so happy. But now that we got this direct, bring on the Metroid direct. <laughs> I want to know about Metroid Prime now. Give me my Metroid Prime 4 <laughs> Oh, that game is dead. All right, prop free. Let's go. Can I play the game together with my family on a single Nintendo mm. Switch console? I mean, this is cute, but I don't care with about this. With one Nintendo Switch console and a copy of the game, everyone in your family can live on one shared island. The maximum Except number they can't of have different instances on the island. This was kind Each of controversial too. One resident. And each resident can, of course, build their own house. Except that you can't have more than one island. Does the game support amiibo? Does it support amiibo? Yes. The game supports amiibo figures and amiibo cards from the Animal Crossing series. I don't have any Animal Crossing amiibo, though. Damn. You can so you also can bring in residents that you have the amiibo for. Photopia. An island that exists someplace out there where you can place models and creative photo shoots. Right, so you can take uh, photos with your amiibo too. We plan to support additional characters in the future. Wait, are they DJ Do you KK? Have any more information about visiting friends? Hmm. While visiting other islands online, you can communicate with friends or players not registered as friends using temporary passwords. Okay, These cool. features can be restricted via the Nintendo nice. Switch you don't have to control app people. for smart devices. Uh, you don't have to add in order to protect people the environment onto your friends' of list. Your That's island, good. Some tools like axes and That's shovels great for me are for people in visits with friends. Because then I can just invite people over and then kick them out when However, I don't want them to be there. Friends who are registered as best friends can use these tools. It's no problem. Mm. Please use this feature when interacting with your So I can stop friends. them from chopping all my trees down. Hell yeah. I lose my save data. Animal Crossing New Horizons does not support the save data cloud feature. But However, we're planning to offer a service for recovering backed up save data from the server in certain circumstances, such as console damage or loss. Will there be a special theme console to go along with the I'm game? I'm not sure how that works, which means yes. they are backing up data. You Animal just don't Crossing have control over it. I console. would the love this console. Code for the game will be released on March 20th, along with a theme game. Game's not pre-installed. That's actually better because then you can just attach the game to your account, so you can Nook keep moving it to the other systems for your playing pleasure. Oh, it's so cute, though. Will there be any free updates after launch? I wish. Yes. I wish. We will offer free updates after the game launches, and we'll continue to provide free but seasonal events throughout the year. I'm not going to replace my my Switch unless it's absolutely necessary. The first necessary. free update will be on launch so. day, March 20th. By installing this update, you can celebrate Bunny Day with a special event in April. Jesus. Also, that bunny we're planning though. to roll out a special offer for both Looks Animal like something Crossing out of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Animal Crossing Jesus. New Horizons, okay. through which players can receive special items in each. 
Oh, right. Okay, so there is like tie-ins with Details um, will be announced at a later date Pocket Camp. the official Animal Makes sense. Crossing Twitter account. So stay tuned. <laughs> That's the pyre where they burn the non-believers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Ah, oh, right. That's Isabel's account. What do you want to find? <laughs> it's so dumb. I love it. I, 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 I really want, like, Isabel to be the main focus again, but I guess that's... <sighs> not the biggest thing in the world. Mm. So, yeah. Heck, yeah. I'm pumped! March 20th cannot come soon enough. I will be playing it on launch day on my, uh, on, t on Twitch, so definitely come and check that out. There is so much there. The fact that you can, like, redesign the whole island, I'm super excited about. <sighs> I really wish they would do a cross-promotion with Doom since it comes out on the same day. I don't know if you've seen the, um, the, the, the Doom, like, uh, Animal Crossing memes, crossover memes. Like, the big burly guys going in to buy Animal Crossing and, like, all the girls going in to buy Doom. Those kind of memes. Very, very cute and funny. Uh, but yeah, what did you think of the direct? Uh, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Give this a like if you like this video and make sure you hit the sub button because, you know, you want to come back for future videos, don't you? I'm sure you do. More reactions, more uh, analysis, discussions, all that kind of good stuff here on the Mia Byte channel. So until then, I will see you next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. <laughs> Bye. This video is taken from one of my Twitch streams. If you'd like to join a Twitch stream, check out the description or go to twitch.tv forward slash mirebytes. Also, big thank you to the patrons without whom this video would not be possible. If you like the video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.